good afternoon uh, we'll be starting with the next part then the remote sensing that is uh, digital image processing so in the digital image processing we'll be talking about how to de uh, how to deal with the uh, image processing how to deal with the uh, various aspects of the remote sensing and how to deal with the different parts and different interpretation of the uh, image so in this now i'll say this this is an uh, satellite image where this part totally dedicated to the the water this is this is also water but this is a saline water while this is the fresh water this is the beach side the red color indicate the color uh, the vegetation here there are different different colors so interpretation of this or understanding of this is very very much essential in order to get a clear information about what is hidden or what is present in the image so th this interpretation technique will tell you how to interpret how what are the parameters which will we should consider what are the features how to identify them there are few features which are associated with, with each other so how to do with that this part this part will be cleared with in the digital image processing so now this image has been interpreted or this has been classified in order to get the clear data or the clear information about the image now when i get a clear data about it when i get a information about it how i did it is uh, this is called as superas classification so that superas classification i'll be uh, deal once in one of the how to do this i'll share a video of it and now i classified this image into eight classes once i do this eight classes what information i'll get is not only i'll able to identify the features even i'll be calculate how much area a particular feature has covered for example this white patch the interface between land and water whatever you can see that has been defined as the beach uh, sand now how much amount of beach sand is there then the forest land this is the for this part is the forest land so how much forest land has been covered then this is the water body how much area this water body covers this is all calculations i can do with the help of digital image processing digital image processing don't deal with only this part it deals with the many other parts like now there are few distortion now this image you can see number of lines in it how to remove this line what are the techniques to remove this line this is all is included in digital image processing but we'll be only talking in this class or in this syllabus is only how to do how to identify the features how to identify the features what are the basic steps which are used in identification of the features this is all i'll be doing it in this class okay coming to now imagine i'll i'll be discussing with you i'll i'll, I'll tell uh, you, you imagine one area now for example you say so you have one uh, image or there is one area where there is undulating th uh, terrain there is a river there is a boat at the left corner tree at the right right corner windmill on the top of the hill or the in windmill on the terrain then the eiffel tower is there beside you imagination of this is very difficult okay or almost now we have uh, so a 17 18 participant so the all 18 participant will be imagining in different different aspects someone's boat may be smaller one or someone's boat may be bigger one so but if i show you okay this is the image now I, there is no need to explain there is no need to explain that what exactly you will understand that there is a eiffel tower there is a windmill there is a boat there is a river there is a tree and you can imagine this everything in a one picture you can imagine this very better with the things will be very much clear in this concept okay same way now if i show you this you can't interpret anything someone has just crashed down you cannot interpret anything out of this so it is very much essential to see that there are the information which can be easily adopted or information which can be easily retrieved information which can be easily clear through is through the picture someone clearly said that humans are very good very good in information gathering or they derive the information from the images and 75% of the information received by humans is in a picturetric form 
whatever someone some, uh, tell you something you imagine a picture you imagine a picture of it that's called the image and same thing will be doing it here for a particular area so uh, imagine now everything is about the picture pictures are the most common and convenient means of conveying or transforming information so if i tell about something same thing if i tell you about something uh, some area instead if i'll show you the picture same thing happened with our study tour also i'll be always talking about the lava flows i'll be always talking about, uh, talking about the different features in the lava rather in a trip we have seen all this feature the things were much clearer than the the theoretical subject and that's why picture plays a very important role in order to get the clarity of it now moving to image interpretation so image interpretation is done so analysis of remote sensing imagery involves identification of various targets in an image so in an image you should identify the various feature like previous image we identified there is a boat we identified there is a river we identified there is uh the wind mean we identify there is eiffel tower okay instead of telling we have identified it we have seen the images so same thing we have to do it with respect to image processing but here the landforms different landforms different aspects will be imagining so target may be de uh, defined in terms of way of a triplets or emit radiation this is what i told dn number and the pixel has shown each pixel has a different color that's because of the emittance of the reflectance of the radiance this radiance is measured and recorded by the sensors and how it records the push broom and wish broom sensors has shown you in the last uh, last uh, class where i have shown you how it detects whether single pixel by pixel or entire pixel line it will detect that also we discuss in the previous class so those each individual pixel will be interpreting in this so the act of examining images uh, to identify the objects or judge their significance this is what we do the image interpretation information extraction process from the image the interpreter interpreter is anyone who know or who have a better knowledge of identifying a object in a satellite data he is called as an interpreter so that interpreter is specialized in train study of photograph or image in addition to his disciplines his own disciplines so the image interpretation can be done by any layman or in, it can be done by any any other person but the everyone's interpretation will be totally different so now the previous image i may interpret in a different way someone else may interpret in different way someone may see i felt tower at the beginning someone may see river at the beginning that depends upon your perception what is your point of view in order to get the information about it and that's why a single satellite image can worked with a many uh, people for example i will i'll give more technical example now if i the same image the first slide image which i have shown you if i give that image you may see that okay there is only a coastal land you may see that there is a forest you may see that there is a barren land so here you can go for the construction like that you may interpret but being a geologist i can interpret in a different way i can talk about more about the coastal features i can talk about more about rocks i can talk more about the terrain how it is so one image can be interpreted by many other uh, people depends upon their judgment depend upon their subject expert depend upon their requirement okay so one image will play an, a very important role in order to get a clear information about the many other aspects so now how the image is so this i already shown single single pixels this in this is a individual pixel is called as a pixel it's always in a square mark so single pixel and the reflectance value of these pixels are been given here so this is a single pixel this is called as a row this is called as a column and it is in the different different band what exactly means by the band band is nothing but uh, in a yesterday's class when i was explaining electromagnetic radiations i said that blue band has its some some range red band has a some some range okay will be not using entire web here in order to get the clear uh, clarity of the picture so i'll be using only red band green band and yellow uh, or infrared band so that individual color band is called as individual band and a combination of this will be using in order to interpret the picture so this is called as a pixel and this is called as the dn value called as a digital number called as a digital number this plays an important role this only will give the clarity about the colors 
or this will provide the information about the objects present. Coming to notice, yes, when I say a multispectral scanner or the multispectral image, so this, they have a different different bands. One has a red band, green band, blue band, and infrared band. When you combine these bands, when you combine this band, we get a one picture which talks about many other aspects, many other aspects. So this combination, say if I say if I use red band, green band, and blue band, I may get only true color picture where the vegetation may look green. Vegetation may look green. But instead, I'll I'll remove this green band and I'll add this infrared band. I'll get a false color composite. I'll get a false color composite where the vegetation will look red, and it will be very easy for us in order to, to get a clear picture about which type of vegetation it is, or whether it is healthy vegetation or not. So we usually interpretation we do with the help of red, blue, and infrared band. Okay, to get the false color composite, it's called as FCC. It's called as FCC. So this false color composite we use this for the interpretation. So there are two methods of interpretation. One is visual method. Another is digital image processing. So in a visual method, which is an old method, we probably don't do this part because here the hard copy of the image is required. So hard copy of the image when you have that interpretation, you have to return down. And again, as you know that every person interprets his image in his own way. So it will be difficult as. So what we do is we interpret the images, visual interpretation we do with help of digital images, with the help of digital images. So we do the interpretation visually, but with the help of softwares, we'll be using them for the clarity of the pictures. Okay. Then what makes an uh, Uh, makes interpretation of images more difficult than everyday visual interpretation. So here, uh, interpretation with you, with normal eyes, if you do, we may not understand about the terrain. We may not understand about the terrain, but we have a specific instrument called as stereoscopes. With that, we will be able to identify the image. Uh, don't take this part as very lightly because this is also one of the part in the geology lab. We have uh, image interpretation, satellite data interpretation, where we'll be talking about these concepts only. We'll be talking about this concept only. We'll be interpreting few of the images as well. Then the next part, the before we go for the image interpretation, we need to understand something about the resolutions of the image because it's clarity. Resolution is nothing but the clarity. Now, now we are habitual to get a very clear pictures. So you may be having, if anyone is using a normal camera of 10, 5 GB or uh, 2 GB, the clarity of the picture will not be a clear and we don't uh, get a clear picture of it. So we neglect those pictures, but those who have a very good resolution camera, we prefer to take a photograph with that because the clarity will be very high. The clarity will be very high and that clarity makes a sense. And the same thing here we use, but here the clarity concept will be cleared with a four type of resolution. One is spectral resolution, another is radiometric resolution, another is special resolution, and the temporal resolution, nothing but the revisit timings. Nothing but the revisit timing. We'll see this coming to special resolution. Now see, this is an image of hornbill. So imagine an image of hornbill captured with a very high resolution camera while this is captured with very low resolution camera can you identify whether the the hornbill is present here no it's difficult because the resolution is very coarse so clarity will be very less okay but here we can identify yes a bit resolution we can say yes hornbill may be present in these two pictures we see that yes hornbill is present and this is called as special resolution that talks about how much area will be covered by each pixel how much area will be covered by each pixel we have something called the 10 megapixel what the 10 megapixel is so that is nothing but the resolution of your camera so if i say this is one picture this is one pixel and its resolution is 10 meter means on a ground on a ground this will be covering 10 meter by 10 meter area right now the google images satellite google images 
they have resolution of 1 meter means on the ground each pixel represents 1 meter by 1 meter area on the ground 1 meter by 1 meter area on the ground so the even the clarity will be very high clarity will be very high so here the we have same thing but 80 meter resolution clarity is very less then same area 30 meter resolution we have again clarity will be less here we have a 10 meter resolution where the clarity will be very high and things can be very clearly seen or, or the easy for the interpretation purpose it's very for the uh, easy for the interpretation purpose so this makes a very good sense in the case of resolution this is called as special resolution this is called as special resolution. next is radiometric resolution the uh, spectral resolution next is the spectral resolution the spectral resolution talks about the number of spectral bands it talks about number of spectral bands. what do you mean by band band is nothing but the single range band is nothing but the single range i'll be using only three bands red green and blue for the uh, true, true color same way the clarity will be increased based upon how many number of bands we are using it how many number of bands are we, we are using it right now we have uh, uh, something called as hyperspectral images where plenty of them is a blue color will be divided into so many smaller 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 segments that it will bring so much thick images okay this will increase the again a clarity as well it will be very good images for the interpretation purposes okay this is called as a spectral resolution next is radiometric resolution next is radiometric resolution dix talks about how many pixels are there in a particular image so if i say 16 level or the image is 16 bit or the image is 2 bit this indicates 2 raised to 2 how many it will come that many pixel colors can be seen now if i say 16 bit means 2 raised to 16 how many colors will come that many colors can be seen you can see the same image this is two levels this is only two levels means you may see only combination of uh, few uh, white and gray uh, white and uh, black but here we have so much of clear and then we can identify yes this is uh, the grass and this is the gold which is coming to the grass but here the, that clarity will not be there that is called as radiometric resolution usually the images which we use for the resolution are either 16, 16 bit or 18 bit images for the purpose of resolution or if we are, if we are, if we even even you can take example of your laptops 32 bit and 64 bit what that bit means 64 bit and 34 bit talks more about the clarity in the colors clarity in the colors coming to next temporal resolution the temporal resolution is nothing but your revisit timing after how many time a particular satellite comes <coughs> <coughs> After how many times a particular satellite comes, that is called as revisit timing. So there is a, 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 a the uh, satellite called as AVHRR. This this AVHRR is a satellite which repeats or which captures continuously after every 12 hours. There is a spot uh, a satellite which revisit timing is 26 days. Okay, and the resolution is 10 meter resolution, but it repeats after 26 days. There are many satellites which revisit after every 15 days. I'm talking particular about, particular about our city, Palgam city. There are a few satellites which can cover after every 15 days. There is an example called as, there is a uh, satellite called as Sentinel. There is a central satellite called as Sentinel, which provides the free data. Also, it revisits after every 15 days or 10 days. Okay. Uh, that depends upon many other factors. But revisit timings plays an important role in order to understand what is happening or what, uh, what has happened, what changes have taken place, that's called as a revisit timing. So it is very essential part. For example, now uh, we have uh, something called as some there is, uh, for example, there's a flooding. There's a flooding. Now if I take an image and after flood, what has happened? I've shown many photographs in the last previous semester about tsunamis and all. Uh, before tsunamis and after tsunamis that's that happens only possible to detect or to measure or to identify what has changes it is called as temporal resol resolution and a very close temporal resolution of one day or two days will give you better clarity about the changes in the area that's called as temporal 
next is so these are the four resolution which we discuss about then what are the advantages of using uh, the images which are on the ground observation so they give the time freezing ability they are they are permanent records they create a spectral resolution special resolution they are cost and effective uh, time effective they give stereoscopic images this this we will discuss in the next part next is what governs the interpretation now if i now you you know what are the images what are the interpretation uh, what are the resolution so what makes a perfect resolution or the what uh, factors which governs the interpretation first suppose the training and experience should be very trained or you should be uh, exposed to you should uh, expose to satellite data you should record uh, you should see more and more satellite images then only you will be able to identify what are the features present in it so to uh, interpret anything you should have a good knowledge about a particular area for example uh, if i am interpreting a land normal land uh, nor a uh, hilly terrain and all, i should know what are the features are possible in that terrain land okay if i am studying a coastal land i should know what are the features or the what are the things which are happening in the coastal land or in, uh, very close to coastal land then only it is possible to interpret the images in a very proper way so next is the nature and uh, nature of object or the phenomena that's what i am talking where you should know how now if i uh, working on a coastlines there are many features there are minings are going on there are salt pans there are and how the salt pans appears this is all basic information is very essential in order to provide or the in order to clear the uh, many uh, many things or in order to do the proper interpretation of the in, uh, the processing of the image next comes the quality that is nothing but the special resolution what is the quality how they appear okay next is equipments and methods of interpretation the equipments if you want to do terrain studies then we have an instrument called a stereoscope or else there are softwares called as qgis rgis saga uh, adas there are nv there are many softwares which help you in order to interpret the data uh, then the manual steps and the prior knowledge of the area is very essential to do interpretation of the images in a very proper way coming to next uh, then same the methods depend upon the kind of information to be interpreted the accuracy of result which are ob obtained the reference level of the person executing the interpretation the kind and type of imagery instrument available scale available or the scale or other requirements of the final map external knowledge knowledge available available in any other sensory survey but this basic information is very now uh, we we'll see directly into what are the basic criteria to start with the image first of all whenever you are starting interpretation of any image you should know what is the application part of it or what is the purpose purpose of it you are doing it okay now if i want to uh, identify the different features on the land and i am taking an image from the monsoon season where there will be too much of cloud cover things will not happen if i want to do uh, the agriculture survey i am taking the images from the may may june uh, where there will be much of the much barren land then your purpose will be lost and so application where this data interpreted data is helpful that you need to understand first then comes depend upon what is the purpose what kind of sensors or the what kind of images you are using you are interpreting the num uh, the num uh, number of buildings present uh, or the upcoming buildings in a area and you have a resolution of 80 meters then you will not get any clarity there you should have a very uh, fine uh, uh, the 10 meter 5 meter resolution data then only able to identify what are the buildings so next comes the time when uh, cycle spectral resolution special resolution so these all are the basic criteria to understand before you start with the image interpretation then comes the elements of image interpretation this is more important in order to understand what are the elements which are there in order to get the interpretation so there are few elements which we use are called as tone shape size pattern texture shadow and association we'll see this so first comes the tone tone refers to the relative brightness 
don't refer to the relative blackness or the color of an object. So now if I are using a false color composite, I should know what uh, color will be the red, red color will be there for the agriculture, what color will be there for the uh, your uh, barren land, what color will be there for the shrubs, what color will be there for the herbs, what color will be there for the healthy vegetation. So that basic knowledge you should have and this information will be provided by means of tone. So the generally tone is the fundamental element for the distinguishing between the different targets. So here now you can see this is a black and white image. Here this white color and this dark color may look same but this can be a building or this can be a vegetation. So the tone plays a very essential role in order to do the proper image interpretation. Okay. So this is the basic tone. There is a difference between the uh, color color difference between the two objects. Color difference between the uh, the objects present, uh, present in the uh, your image that talks about the tone. The best example is the red color vegetation. Red vegetation, every vegetation look appears red, but there is a changes in the red color also, which talks about whether the vegetation is healthy, whether the vegetation is uh, not healthy, whether the vegetation is uh, a forest land, whether it is a uh, whether it is agricultural land or it is just a planted land. That uh, the information we can get for the tone or the change in the color of two objects. Next comes the shape. Next comes the shape. Next to color, you need to understand what is the shape of it. You may see this. This is uh, this is the ground. If you see the red color here, you can see the red color only. But but that red color cannot be uh, as a, uh, uh, as of the agriculture, but can, can be of red color of the lawn. You can't say this is a garden. You can't say this is a garden because you have a running track on the back side by so you should interpret either it, it may be football ground or it may be an athletic ground here there are the so many bridges so many bridges how i interpreted because of the shape of it because of the shape of it and even there is a shadow that shadow will tell that okay this is on the topper side this is on the bottom side this is on the again in the bottom side bottom side so that changes also you need to identify now this is an agriculture land I, I may go wrong because I am able to see only round round circles and I don't know that there, there are chances that agriculture land can be of uh, different colors also. The reason behind this is this is done with the sprinkling of the colors, uh, sprinkling uh, person, which is, which is uh, separates in a, a, a red way. Next comes the size. Size will uh, in an object in, in order to understand the scale. So here the information like the bigger uh, buildings may be uh, uh, the factories, the smaller will be residential areas. So that size also will give the information about the area, whether the land is the residential buildings or it is the commercial building or whether it is factories, this information can be get it from the size of the buildings. Next comes the pattern. Pattern plays a very important role, role again. Uh, again, I just forgot to tell uh, about okay a pattern also plays an important role in order to understand the phenomena we can understand whether they are the residential areas whether they are the parking grounds whether it is a planted area or it is normal agriculture land in agriculture uh, this in your uh, planted areas you may see the pattern of this plantation you may see the pattern of the plantation they are planted in a single line but if it is forest the plants are random plants are random so you can identify what are the features are present. This that 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 called as a next comes the texture. Texture refers to arrangement to the frequency of the tone variation in a particular area of the image. So the tone variation, this uh, texture variation is the same example I will give about agriculture land. Agriculture may you may get the uniform texture because the height of the plants will be same. But in a forest land, you may not get the same texture because the height of the plants is varying. So you may get the rough texture while in agriculture land, you will get the fine texture. You may get a fine texture. So that's a texture in order to help, in order to identify the buildings. If you have, if you have a roof system bungalow or if you have a colony where height of the buildings is same, height of the buildings is same, then you may get a smooth texture. But in areas where there is undulation in the buildings, there you may get a the rough texture is called as a texture. Next coming a shadow. Shadow will tell you about the, it will give the rough idea about height of the buildings. 
it will give the height of the building it will get the height elevation changes now you can see i said that i can understand that this is on the top while this is at the bottom this because of the presence of this shadow i am getting a clear picture how exactly it is working okay that's the next part shadow next coming associated feature next comes the associated feature associated features will give the rough idea for example now if there is a water body there is a water body next to that there is a plantation i can imagine that i can't say this is the agriculture land if it is a river then i can say yes agriculture land but there is a road here so i can say this may be a garden okay this is called as a associate features so if you have the garden you may have residential area you may imagine this is a residential area there is a ground uh, football ground or the cricket ground or the athletic ground you may say this this may be probably very close to school also so this is called as associated feature which will help in order to judge uh, in order to give the clarity about the presence of the objects so there are method different different methods which are used in this uh, interpretation there may be we may use mono as a little of the stereo analysis we may use multi uh, multiple images in order to identification we may use multi band images we use multi date images or we use multi stage images for the interpretation that depends clearly upon what is the purpose why you are doing a particular work okay so that based on that we change the things okay so there are different sensors as also which we use we have a black and white chronic, uh, chromatic sensors we have got color images and uh, different purposes this will discuss more about it in the geology lab session yeah so there are few images which you can have because we are left with short of timing so we'll have uh, this images images which i can show so this is a black and white image here you can say this is the beach part this is the boat which is moving that's because of the associated feature i know that boat will create this this scenario i can say yes this may be a boat is moving while this is now you can imagine this this is the beach because this is the i can see the waves here and that's why i said this is the beach and this is the ocean if i can interpret this as a lake also but i know there are waves waves are present means this is the ocean this this is why the uh, associated features plays an important role again by large i can say this is an coastal area coming to next see color uh, color composite now here also i can see all green color as vegetation here but the red changes in the red color because this is the thick vegetation this is lawn this this cannot be a lawn this is not it's not healthy uh, i can say um, growth it's not a healthy growth which it is bit difficult in this part of the image this is again uh, infrared uh, image mid infrared image of uh, the island here also there are different features which can be identified like features like uh, the uh, these are the agriculture land this is the barren land these are the small small islands here i can say number uh, the type of plantation i can identify because on the islands small islands or these these are the connected uh, spits and bars we call them so here i can say that this is the coconut plantation i must say this as this is the mangrove plantation because of the association with it the association with this is with the plants same the satellite images agriculture land why i am saying agriculture because these are the rounds which are been created because of the sprinkling addition and the agriculture has been done i can't say this is something different i know this is the vegetation and you can see the texture also the pattern the arrangement of the plants you can see the pattern also this is goa image madivan zuari river i can say this is aishuri this is the uh, this is the land this is these are the islands these are the uh, settlement cyan color where we see there is a settlement okay so this is how we interpret the different different images this is sundarban delta so here the plantation is mangrove plantation all are mangrove plantations okay and these are the rivers this is the clear wa clean water this is the turbid water this is again same 